Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela with another Sewing Notion Sunday. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I've had a little bit of a sore, scratchy throat. Um, if you've watched for a while, you know that I do not have a pin cushion here. I have one at the acreage, but I do not have one here. So we are going to make one today and it will include this cute little demi -tasse cup, which I'll talk about in a second. So before we get started, a shout out to Carrie Gale, and uh, she has Junk Journal Central on Facebook. So if you haven't been over there, hop on over. Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. Hello, Dale. Um, she also has a channel you will want to uh, check out. And then of course, please check out the description and uh, see our friends who are participating in Sewing Notion Sunday. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Here is how this was sparked. <laughs> I thought it would be cute to create a pin cushion. And so I was just going to do like a regular pin cushion, kind of like the ones that look like little tomatoes, you know? And then I thought, no, I want it to be cute in my craft room. So it sits and has a, has a purpose. So I was looking, I went shopping with two new friends. Hi, Janice. Hi, Pam. And I was searching for a small teacup. Well, the teacups that I found were really not that attractive. And, you know, on my first spin around, well, they had to leave. So I thought, well, I'll just take a little more time. and I'll go around one more time and see if I can find something. And I found this. I think I paid $2 for it. This is, um, it's a RS, like, you know, the RS Prussia. It's really valuable. This is RS, Reinhold uh, Schlegelmilch, I believe. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, you know, also semi-valuable, but it is a demi -toss, uh cup. So it's teensy tiny, uh, which demi -toss means half cup. You know, this is what you would have your espresso in. So it is not even two inches and the top is only two and a half inches wide. So what I thought is we would make a cushion, put it in here and... I would use some E6000 to adhere it to this, and then I'd have a little place to put other little bits and bobs, and we're just going to see how it goes. So, once I figured out what I wanted to do, I then was like, well, how am I going to do this? And I thought about several ways, and then I was creating some baby pumpkins for my fall decor. And I'm like, that's it. That's how I will make this, but a little bit differently. So if you guys are interested in how I make all of my pumpkins, I have two ways that I make them. Um, I'm happy to do a video for you. So just put it down in the comments and I will do that. But the intent is, you know, and I could have just used this, just how it is, cute little pumpkin, a little shabby chic. But these are going to go, um, my colors for fall. I'm not a big Halloween person, but I do like fall. So they're uh, pink, orange, little hints of some green, yellow, and kind of a mm, soft bluish color. So all pastel-y with the orange pop. So if you want me to show you how to make these, I'm happy to do that. So we're going to set that little cutie patootie on the side. So here's what you're going to need. Uh, you'll need some twine. And I, did, I grabbed two different ones because I wasn't sure. I think I will probably use this one, but we shall see. Uh, you'll need a glue gun or any other kind of fabric tack, whatever. I have E6000 because I need to use this for my teacup, my Demitasse cup. I have a little bling, undecided if I'm going to use this yet. I've got some lace, undecided if I'm going to use that. So your embellishments, basically. <clears throat> and I also have, in advance of the, a rubber band, you need a rubber band. Um, we may need this. I'm really good at burning myself. You will need, now, you can use anything. Like, you could use a sleeve. That's how I make my pumpkins. Uh, this is just a scrap piece of fabric that I found. Now, it is different to make the pumpkins than it is the, the way we're going to be doing this. So, what I did is I have, how many did I? I'm sure it's an odd number. Probably five. One, two. Yeah, five strands of this. And this is about, it's probably way longer than I need, but that's okay. Um, it's about 14 inches or so. So what we're going to do is this is inside out currently. I did sew this with black thread 
because it doesn't matter. And I wanted you to see how I did it. Two pieces of fabric, sewed them together, left the ends open. I did. So now for this particular project, we're just going to take our twine and pull it through. And we're going to let this dangle. I think this, you know what? I haven't tried this, so I don't know. <laughs> I've made the pumpkins plenty of times. Okay. We're just going to go for it. So now we're going to take this and we're just going to gather it. And because this isn't this is going to be inside when we flip it over. Um, we don't have to be real careful with it. However, I think I need to be a little bit more, take a little more care when I'm turning it inside out and kind of making it pretty. So I'm just, as many times as I can get this rubber band around here, I am doing that. So yeah, I, um, yesterday, okay, now we're going to flip this inside out. Yesterday I started doing some fall decorating and I have a tiered tray that I was working on. Um, okay, this is the part that I don't know how this is going to just play out, but all right, let's go ahead. Oh, and the other thing you need is some stuffing. And you can stuff it with anything. You could stuff. You could even put, if you wanted it really, well, it wouldn't fit in that, but you could do like a tennis ball wrapped with a little bit of fabric. But I'm just using some polyfill because I have so much of this in my life and I'm not really sure how I got so much of it, but <laughs> I have a lot. So let's just kind of play around with how much we're going to need in here. I want it to be, you know, kind of. Will this work? Let's see. I want to see how it's going to fit in here and where I will have to. Okay. That's probably plenty of oh, fi uh, fiber fill. So I'm just going to pop this down in here as much as possible. Okay. And I'm going to pull this as tight as I can get it. I want it to be pretty small. We're just going to go with what this looks like. I do not know. <laughs> I do. Oh, I need another rubber band, darn it, because I'm doing this different. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. If I can get a hold of these, I'm just taking each strand and I'm placing them around. Well, these are kind of hard to get a hold of randomly around the little poof okay now I'm gonna gently grab all of this while holding on to it and I'm gonna twist it once just so uh, I don't like where that's at, but we can adjust that. This one needs to be way over here. Where is that one? Nope. Nope. There we go. We can play around with that. Okay, I've got to hold on to this and i got to grab another rubber band. I do not know how good these, these rubber bands are kind of crappy. <laughs> I'm sure that I don't know where they came from, but probably some bag of thrifting goodness. Now, could you just use your uh, hot glue gun? Yes, you could, but you want to make sure that those strings are super tight in there. Okay, now that you've got it pretty tight, all we're going to do... Ooh, my tummy's growling. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not hungry. I don't feel like. I'm just going to pull those kind of tight till we get them where we want them.
Just gonna have to play around with it. Oh, I need that one. I want that one over here a little bit more. So over here a little bit more. Okay. And we're just gonna keep pulling on them. Yeah, so I got some, I worked on my tiered tray. It looks super cute. My mom made me this cute sweater weather piece to go in it. And I had a few things. I, uh, Rhea, our daughter Rhea, likes to decorate for fall and Halloween. And like I said, I'm not really into decorating for fall. Where is this one? So I have pretty much packed up most of my Halloween things from years past. There it is. Jeez Louise, Ange. And sent them to her to decorate at the acreage because she likes it. But I've already done the, I did the fall decorating like four weeks uh, in August. <laughs> there, but I hadn't done anything here. Okay, do we like how that is? I think so. Now what I'm going to do, just for good measure, I'm just going to take these and knot them. Probably not necessary, but I'm just doing it just to make sure as I use those, they don't move. Okay. And now what we're going to do Okay. Cute, but look how cute it would be as a pumpkin, right? So we don't need all this excess on here because it's not going to be a pumpkin. And it doesn't work quite, you know, it doesn't look quite as cute as this as this way. Oh, you know what I might be able to do though? Let's just try it. Let's get this really close. Let's just see. I want this on the top because I think it's cute and then I can put my pins and it looks very fancy. And I can put things inside there. I think we can do that this way, ladies and gents. Okay. Well, I'm just going to cut this off real close. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it looks cuter this way. Okay. Now, what we need to decide, I'm going to move this away. <clears throat> I do have some of this lace. Do we want to put a piece of it? Let's see. Oh, probably so. Don't you think? Just in the inside of it. We're going for it. All right, so what I'm going to do is get my hot glue gun. Let me get everything out of the way here. Got all that extra. All right. And I'm just going to go a little bit at a time. I do get questions a lot about this Super Bonder high temp <laughs> glue gun. And, and it is cordless, though. So that is wonderful. And it is on my, if you go to the To Restore You Essentials, my Amazon affiliate, it's there. I should be using that little pink thing, but, you know, take chances. little bit at a time. It's 
what I like about the hot glue is it is so forgiving. And if I hate it, I can always take it out, right? Um, <clears throat> this is bone china, so it's really fragile. So I hope that it lasts, but I'm only keeping it like right here on my my work area. So I think it'd be okay. Let me just cut that off. To just be a little bit over the top. Does that feel like it's not? Oh, I got little spider webbies. Um, so I'm trying to think. Oh, my mom and I, um, Demi had softball this weekend and we had rain delay. So mom said, I wanted to go to Dollar Tree. She wanted to get some things, I think, for her tiered tray. And oh my gosh, that's just cute as a button, just how it is. And so we went, and I ran, the Goodwill is right next to it, so I ran to see if I could find anything for my tiered tray. Now, I do want this pretty far in here, so it, let's just look at it. Okay, so it's going to be like this. This little cutie will go on the top. That still has its... All right, and we're just going to glue it in. I'm going to put a bunch in the bottom, a bunch, and then I'm going to just put some on the sides. I mean, you really don't need that much. And then I'm just going to smush, smush. All right, let's see about this. Do I need to take this off or should I? pin it on there. I don't know if I can get it. Where are you? I should have put this on before I... No, I don't think so. I think we're just going to glue it. So I haven't done a video, but I have a whole bunch of old um, jewelry. This one was fine. There was a bunch that needed <clears throat> repair. So I have a small bag that I've already just repurposed. And then I think I have a few pieces that I'm doing as giveaways for uh, the live sale, which by the way, thank you everybody. We've reached a thousand subscribers. So now I'm just waiting for a couple little things from uh, YouTube. And remember, I'm doing it at the end of the month. So um, it'll either be, you know, the week of the 28th or the 5th of October. By that time, I should have, you know... I'm ready. I've got everything. Gosh, I just feel like I need to put this in there, though. <laughs> Let's see if I can just... Just get it a little bit through there. Just for reassurance. This is going to be really hard. Um, but everything's ready. Everything is marked. I've got all the lots um, figured out. I've got all my f giveaways figured out. So I'm super excited. Not sure about if I have a bid ender. Well, I do. That's one thing I need to do. I need to put out a poll. You guys tell me too. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to set this on its side. I'm going to start way inside there. And I'm really getting this good. And I'm just going to press it down. I know this isn't very, it's not a very typical um, or traditional pincushion. But you know, why be traditional? Come on. Live a little. And I d have even, um, I have even started getting everything ready for the second live sale because I'm just hoping this is going to go so well that you guys are going to say, yes, do another one because I got all kinds of goodies and I'm a little overwhelmed in my craft room. I'm standing here looking at it while I'm holding this down. 
Um, okay, I don't want to do too much, like, because I want to be able to put things in there. Oh, you can feel the heat at the bottom of that. So, let me just grab this glue gun again. Let's just do... Some right around those spots. I'm just gonna hold it down and we'll just visit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh, because I have got I've got some fabulous hauls that um, Thrifty Thursday hauls, which will not come out until um, probably. I mean, I've got so many of them. I'm already out until October um, that are already uploaded and ready to roll, I think, till like maybe, maybe the end of October. So, um, you know, I could let him sit here and just wait, but I can't. So I think I'm just going to do the, do the videos and upload them for November and then call that good. Now, I could have done all kinds of other additional things. On here, too. But, like I said, I want to be... Oh, my gosh, that looks so stinking cute. Look at that. You know, I could have put something down here, but I'm not going to. So, for this one, what we're going to do... Demetas. What happened? My E6000 just did something weird. Let's see, will this come out? <gasps> this E6000 and I, I'm telling you, it's just, ugh. my big one is like globby, the little ones, <laughs> I can never get to work. Come on. All right, forget it. We're just going to do it this way. So it should come out. Shouldn't it? Well, we have needles, so let's just see if we can... Huh. Just looked like it had a little bit of a goober in there. There we go. All right, so let me get this where I want it. I want the flower to be there. Um, I'm going to go up. I have a feeling this might show a little bit because it's scalloped. So we're just going to have to be okay with that. And for good measure, I'm going to add some hot glue. That's a lot of glue, but I don't want it to move. Okay, now I have to get down here and just kind of hold it to where I want it. And it seems like yeah, it's sticking. Okay, and there we have it. A sweet little pin cushion. And now I can put all my little fun pins in there. Although there was a couple spots that had, let's do pretty ones. Might as well just put a bunch of these in there, right? It's green. And we could even put, oh, I've got these. I like these in here. And, you know, if you wanted, if you had like stick pins, these are, these are one of those that go on the sale. But you could put your stick pins in there. Oh my goodness, I love it. How cute is that? I don't like those though. Look at that. 
so simple, so easy, and so cost effective. I think I paid $2 for the, um, the Demitas cup. And the fabric was from, at some point from, you know, one of my thrift hauls. And, you know, then you just got your twine and such that, I mean, you don't have to use twine. You could use anything. When I use my, a lot of times when I make my pumpkins, especially if they're more rustic, um, I use like the brown twine, you know, like not baker's twine, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm just putting these back in here because I don't, I like it all pretty with the same colors. Now, the one thing, I want to put this in here some. Okay, this one I think I probably won't use very much because it's cute. But that's my um, needle threader. And I don't want to lose that. So. There you go. And my needle for slow stitching. And I'm making a mess over here. So there you have it, friends. I hope you enjoyed this Sewing Notion Sunday. It's a little bit different. But a very simple, fun way. Um, and we just created, you don't have to have to make it shabby chic whatsoever, but this one just happened to be and so easy. Oh, the brooches, I, they were, I think I, the whole bag of them, I maybe paid, well, there's two bags of them. I think I maybe paid five bucks. So pennies for my little brooch. Um, so that is what we've got friends for this week. And I hope you are all well. Um, be sure that, um, be sure to subscribe because all of the information um, and hit the bell if you need notifications so that you can see uh, when we're actually going to do our live sale and all of the updates on that. And until next time, friends, remember to take time to just be and we'll see you soon. Cheers.